Hey guys, this is uh, Entertainment KJ here doing another airsoft review. This is my Cybergun Sig 550. Um, well, let's just start. Um, this is uh, the flash hider is plastic, metal outer barrel, metal inner barrel, metal front sides. Um, your foregrip is plastic. And this is where you keep your battery. Push the bottom half forward and pull your top right off. Got the Tamiya connector right there, and then pull it back on, stick tight battery, push this back forward. Uh, you're supposed to have a pin right here, I lost mine, I think you, I can order a new one for like two bucks. Built in um, bipod, uh, metal, not very good, it's got, it's on a swivel so you can rotate the gun side to side, which is kind of cool, but not really, but if you sit like this, if you put too much pressure forward, it falls down. If you start trying to hide backwards, it falls down. Very unstable bipod. So, I mean, I mean, it comes with the gun, so you can't complain too much. But let's see, uh, you got metal upper and lower receivers. Uh, you got ambidextrous um, fire selector switch, meaning it's both sides. Um, a collapsible stock or foldable stock, sorry, right there. So you get your little CQB gone. Not really a CQB gun too long, but you know, whatever. Got uh, top rails, you can actually just unscrew them, take them right off. I leave mine on because sometimes I put that UTG red dot on here. Um, fully adjustable rear sights. Just about any gun does this. Pull this back. You got your hop up in there. Push the wheel away from you. I think it, I believe it's turning the hop up off. Put pull it towards you, and it's putting the hop up on. Um, I think that's about it for that. You got the metal um, trigger assembly. All this metal mag release, plastic pistol grip. My only complaints with this gun. Is the mags. The mags are plastic. Um, they do not make metal mags at all for the SIG 550 series. I'm not sure about the 552 or so on, but they only have plastic mags and they're 30 bucks a piece for a plastic mag. I believe it holds 470 rounds, the high cap basic winding wheel type. Um, you kind of have to get used to the way that you put the mag in. You got to you got a line right here, got to line it up with your groove, and then pull back. It's kind of like loading an M14 mag, or even kind of like an AK mag. Um, it takes a little getting used to, but it's not that hard. Um, this gun I bought for 260 down at our local Army Navy shop. It carries all of our gear and uh, guns and whatnot, ammo. So. Yeah, I bought this brand new for 260. Um, I made a mistake and I put some Walmart BBs in here and I thought they were some of my Matrix BBs and they ended up getting jammed, broke the air nozzle on it. And uh, after that, I had the tech, our local tech, replace the air nozzle on it. And after that, I think he accidentally did something with my hop up. So. It shoots about 50 feet with the hop up fully on and it drops straight down so I'm, I've got to replace the hop up system on it but before all this happened it was shooting I'd say about maybe 150 to 170 feet is the range on this one um, it's definitely a good it's right below snipers but above a regular AEG with a, how long the barrel is on this um, the FPS, I believe, is 420 with two O's, and I run two eights, so it's dropping down to 380 about with my uh, uh, two eights in there. Very accurate. Uh, rate of fire is crazy. It comes with the stock. It comes with a 9.6 volt battery, and the rate of fire is almost higher than, or a little less than my 11.1. .1, uh, uh, lipo in my G36 so yeah this gun is overall pretty nice gun 
probably give it a 9 out of 10 just because there is some plastic and the mags aren't very uh, very efficient, I'd say. The good mags, my first one broke. Um, this one's been holding up pretty well. They're 30 bucks a piece for plastic mags and they don't even come with, they don't even make metal mags, so yeah. 9 out of 10 for this gun. Pretty beast. Uh, like it a lot. So subscribe, rate, comment, like, all that jazz. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.